Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel. Look after your mind, you'll thank yourself later. Believe you me, I have lived that, been there, and I'm starting to reap the rewards, I have to admit. It all started about a year ago, I think now. It was just coming up to where we were starting to get ready for Christmas of last year, I believe. It may have been a bit earlier than that. And I was starting to show some real signs of stress and burnout, you could probably say. Um, I was finding I was getting really quite mixed up. I think the term I'd probably use is sort of all a little bit much in the moment, and my mind would just cut, cut short on me, cut blank on me. At the time, I was really trying to struggle with managing everything going on at work, to studying, to things going on in the family, to health problems. And I was really, really struggling in terms of just trying to keep on top of everything, not physically out here, but in here, inside my mind, to the point where I would write everything down and it became obsessive. So that was a very vicious circle where I was trying to almost control my overly stressed behavior. So in essence, it was just getting worse to the point where and I have to be careful what I'm saying here because I'm still undergoing some tests and some investigations, but I started having problems where all of a sudden I'd get this racing come in my chest. Now I am waiting to see a cardiologist, so I can't just rule it out completely for stress. However, my heart would start racing, my head would go really, really strange, quite lightheaded, and I would just completely flake out. And I've had some pretty nasty injuries within the last year. Thankfully, this last quarter of the year from about May onwards has been a lot healthier but into December, January and February I was regularly having falls and they were suspected seizure type events so I have to be again as I said careful because I do have a number of health issues in the background but one thing I can so I can't categorically say that it's through an overly stressed mind but one thing what I can say is that stress certainly exacerbated it. Now, what have I been doing to try and control things and what I've been doing to try and to try and um, improve things and find a positive notion in all of this? Well, I really did realise that I was taking on far too much. And at first it looked as though that to my mind I was just doing my everyday job and I was supporting and looking after my family. But actually, in terms of myself, I took it way out of proportions and I wasn't looking after me. Now, what did I do to improve this? So number one, I started to look at my health and my diet. Now, when I get stressed, I don't eat enough. OK, and then on the top of that, I can go uh, long periods of time of eating very, very small amounts. So then, of course, it upsets your stomach. It upsets your well-being, your, your overall health balance. So therefore, your hair can start to suffer. Your skin can start to suffer. I would be working until early hours of the morning, studying and just, I suppose, I don't want to say never having dealt with it, but there's something I live with all the time, and that's the loss of my nan and she's my absolute world and my faith is a huge guidance in my life and that gives me a lot of strength and a lot of clarity but i go through real real dark horrible difficult times with not having my nan to reach out and hug and talk to and love but do you know what? she's with me always i just have to stop and think and concentrate that she's right there always but you know what it's not easy with everything we've just talked about and then throw on the fact that the pressures of what society throws on us, that we have to have bought a house by a certain time, we have to be settled down in a relationship by a certain time, we have to have found success in our career by a certain time, and all of those things. And I would say I've got a lot better this year. But the one thing which I can absolutely categorically say that I was by far making everything worse, by overly pushing myself, overly stressing myself out, and just literally burning my mind out to the point where I was starting to get even forgetful and I was starting to have problems where I was just mixing things up and I would just go completely blank to the point where it frightened me to think it is something really going wrong with me. It really did take some time to self-discipline myself and it just took real trying to sort of break those traits, those obsessions, those behaviors. So of course, there's a lot going on in the mix there of what I've mentioned. But if this is you, take care of your mind because honestly, you'll reap the reward and you'll thank yourself later. Because first of all, when I started doing this, I had a look um, and I've had some support clips and sort of cognitive behavioral 
episode of clips and things which I've watched in different books and things. And I've really tried to invest in this, this mindfulness, this ability of just being able to zone yourself out and just concentrating on something where you can go or a place you can go in your mind and you can just breathe and you can just concentrate on one thing and you can just block everything out. And you know what? It's not easy. It really isn't easy. For me, I was um, looking at these clips on YouTube and they were really, really helping me out. And if I can, I'll attach them on this clip because it is a fantastic channel. Um, and it's really, really helped me. And it's helped me self-discipline my mind, really quiet my mind of stresses and worries. And believe you me, they're still there. But what it has enabled me to do is really start looking after myself. And as I say, I really... Um, I'm very conscious that I've mentioned a lot of health issues going on in the background and there is a lot still going on. But the one thing which we can have in common, which you're probably watching this um, thinking how, is stress. Obsessively worrying over things and just taking things too far. And at the end of the day, just realising that, do you know what, sometimes we can only do so much in one day. And even though I always say that none of us are blessed for another, we're not promised for another, and to embrace every moment. If it's all getting a bit much for you, that's really, really hard to live. And that's really, really hard to, to live that concept and to hold on to that concept of doing everything and being spontaneous. You have to be really healthily strong in, in mind up here. So it is okay if you haven't got everything done today, it is okay to leave it. And you know, I found that so difficult to accept that if I couldn't complete something, whether it be for work or if I couldn't get around to something with a family member or a loved one, to right now, and it had to be done right now, it, it really quickly made me realise that actually, you're not juggling everything like you used to. So something's really, really going wrong here. And you're really starting to get to that avenue of burnout. So I really started to invest in these clips. Um, and just to take time and concentrating for me, and what I find myself doing of an evening, because evenings for me are terrible, is rather than sometimes just watching TV or anything like that, I'll go off in a space where where there's no one about, there's no interference, there's no phones, there's no computer, nothing like that at all, there's no studying, no work, nothing. And I will find a piece of music which I know, and for me, I love saxophone music, love violin, love piano. And I will play this, okay, and I will just lie down, or I'll just uh, sit at my desk, okay, and I will just take some deep breaths, and I will just concentrate on clearing my mind, clearing those stresses and worries. And when you first start to do it, it's really, really difficult. After a good couple of weeks, okay, and I would say about a fortnight, it starts to get easier. And you almost look forward to that time of that you can just literally almost, I can just imagine my mind just shutting big cupboard doors of all worries and stresses, just shutting them away. And all of a sudden you've got this beautiful, clear, crisp room with just this beautiful piano in and this music just playing. And I don't even see anybody at the piano. I just see this music happening. I just hear this music happening. And my mind just empties, okay? And after, and I do that for a good couple of minutes, sometimes five, 10 minutes. I've done it for as long as 15 minutes. And whatever suits you, if you can only do it for a couple of minutes, first of all, but it's just so empowering and it's just so refreshing. And then what I, I tend to do is I try to close my eyes I try to really embrace everything, okay? And it's just, I really try to concentrate on feeling when you're taking deep breaths, just feeling what your body's feeling. That natural element, as if you breathe, your chest exhaling, and sort of all of those natural abilities, which we just, just don't take note of. And listen to the music, listen to your thoughts, but clearing them away and just really being conscious of that you're trying to improve the health and well-being of your mind. Do you know, it sounds so, so difficult, but if you can get into a trait of that. So that's what I was doing to look after my mind. Okay, then afterwards, um, I mean, studying has always been a huge part of my life moving forward. I'm an absolute avid, um, huge passion for learning and uh, I'm a huge advocate for people to continue their learning at whatever age and um, particularly amongst uh, young people as well. Um, so I've really tried to put a bit more of a healthier perspective on that rather than pushing myself so much because I'm doing about four, um, four at the same time, all around business, all around finance, accounting, um, as well as some accounting exams in the background. Um, so I've really always in my mind, which is causing me so much stress, I've got to have this done by a certain time, I've got to have this done by a certain date. And do you know what? I'm just trying to take a healthier view on it that actually, do you know what? I'm going to try my best. I'm going to work hard at this, but I'm going to do it at set times throughout the week. I'm going to almost table, uh, timetable my, my time. Um, but I'm also going to allocate time for me just to enjoy 
being me and taking time out just to enjoy the right now and the right now presence so I can look after my mindset. So I've got much more of a healthier balance of study and of my career and, and my work life as well. Um, on that as well with health issues too, there are just some days where I can't go there, which is absolutely fine as well. And I think the last thing I want to leave you with is be kind to your thoughts, be kind to your mind and just remember, a thought is a thought. So don't get overly bogged down with what it means because sometimes it just means just that, a thought. Don't beat yourself up. Don't think that you're a nasty person for having a thought. Don't think that you're a lazy person if you can't do something right now. There's a reason. There's a reason you're thinking this, okay? Sometimes there's not, but there's a reason you're questioning yourself. And what you're doing is you're getting yourself into a nasty, vicious circle of keep justifying thoughts and thinking what's going on and why am I so stressed? Why is this happening? Do you know what? Leave it. Because that can soon get dangerous to a festering mess all happening up here, which causes you more stress, more sort of anxiety and just adds to the situation. And in the end, you're really, really being detrimental and damaging your mind and your healthy well-being set in your mind as well. So really take care of your mind. Make time to enjoy things what you enjoy. And you know, whatever gets you through, and I love that saying, do it, enjoy it, embrace it. If it's singing at the top of your voice in a room, do it. If it's playing a couple of, do you know, if it's a couple of minutes just doing something, I don't know, just taking a deep breath, close your eyes, do it. If it's cooking, I love cooking. And on a Friday afternoon, I cook the family dinner and I absolutely love that. And that just takes me away from my thoughts. It really does. Studying for me, I find therapeutic. You've got to be careful of that though, because it can soon become stressful and obsessive too. Always be careful online and social media, because I know a lot of people think that that's enjoyable, but it's so easy to take too much note of something which is being mentioned and you start doing those comparisons, which is really, really dangerous. Because remember, my friend, there is only one of you, your amazing self in this world. So never, ever compare because they're on a different journey. They're on a different stage path in their journey. Yours is a different journey. You're right where you're meant to be. But you've clicked on this because you're obviously having some thoughts and some concerns about your mindset. And if it's not a healthy one, really try to work on that. And I think the takeaways from this clip today are look after what you're consuming, everything in moderation. Okay. And if you're not eating enough of the right things, you're eating too much of the wrong things. Healthy moderation, balance. Exercise is always good. It's always great for the mind. And it really just, if you, if it's a rainy day, if it's whatever weather, sometimes when you can just taking a five minute brisk walk, really clears your mind, really just take note to concentrate on things, take that notion of mindfulness, that well-being, just block everything out if you can, take a few deep breaths on your walk, it will really, really help. Do things what you enjoy, take care of yourself, plan your mind, okay, plan your week around your mind. So for example, if you know Monday and Tuesday are going to be really, really busy, then in the evening, plan time what's going to make you feel good plan something what's enjoyable. And if you know Wednesday's quieter, then do the more stressful, more demanding things in your mind on the Wednesday. Really try and build it around your healthy mindset of well-being. And when the weekend comes around, enjoy the weekend. Try not to stress because it goes by in a flash and we all know that as well. So really try and adopt healthy patterns for your mindset. And you know, by looking after your mind, in just a few weeks, you're going to be feeling sharper, calmer, and more switched on. Because if you think that you're all okay right now, if you're suffering the effects of stress, you can soon be having problems such as sort of your mind cutting short on you, not finding the right words, getting a bit discombobulated in situations. If that's you, it's probably because you're burning yourself out and working a little bit too hard, and you just need to take time for you and really look after your mind. So on that note, I really hope that you've took some positive things away from today because this is what I'm doing. And do you know what? I've had those, those knock-on issues from health issues and one thing or another, but I can honestly say that from starting to look after my mindset a lot more in recent months, I'm starting to be able to handle a lot more in life. I can support my loved ones more. I can support everybody in my family more. I can offer people more. I've got much more mind space to take on stressful events and help people through stressful things as well. So by looking after me, I can be much more of a helpful person, much more of a loving, caring person, because I've got much more of a healthier balance, much more space to be able to help people and give this world more. Hopefully, fingers crossed, my family would agree with that. Okay, on that note, God bless, take great care. And as I say, if you want to ask a question or leave anything down below at all for me, I will do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. On that note, take great care of yourself. God bless. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye for now.